Christmas. I'm Jody Pritzel, author of Immigrants, Ornaments, and Legacies, a story of American-made glass Christmas ornaments and vintage American-made glass Christmas ornaments. This one is full of facts. This one's full of pictures. Think of this one as the cliff notes to this one. I've made three box repair videos. The first fixes the film on the 1963 Festival Bulbs box. In the second, film replacement, we flatten the box, make a hinge for mod blue, and fix the crumpled end. In the third video, film is fixed, we flatten, but we also repair tears in the red medallion box. Thanks for buying my books and watching my videos. Enjoy. If you've watched some of the packaging videos for Shiny Brights and George Frankie, you know I'm not a big fan of the Mod Blue box. But that doesn't mean it doesn't deserve a little bit of love. This sad box, you can see the film, is basically in tatters. There's a tear over here. The box is separated. One of the things that really bothers me about this box is I don't like the way this is crumpled. So I think we should fix this box. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to remove that film. Now again, I've got a couple of tools here. Next time you go to the dentist, ask them if they have any used dental picks, or I like this retro nail file that I've got. So I'm just going to gently, you can see, again, it's in pieces. I'm going to make sure that, oh, that I pry it up fairly simply. Oh, that's going to stick a little bit. Let's come over here. See, I've got, you know, it's torn over here in the corner. I've got a little spot there. You know what I'm going to have to do? Is I might have to get out. Yep. I'm going to have to get my denatured alcohol. Hang on a second. This big splod, splod? How about blob? Of old glue is really causing that cellophane to stick. So I went and got my denatured alcohol, my safety glasses, or my glasses, and uh, I'm going to put some denatured alcohol underneath that film. There it goes. There it goes. Gentle. So I just don't want to try to rip that cardboard, you know what I mean? Still needs to get underneath a little bit more even. Boy, that's pesky for the 60s, isn't it? You know, each box kind of has its own film from the time period and its own glue. So there I'm just kind of running that, peeling up that film. There we go. There we go. It's almost there. Whoa. Thank goodness we're going to replace that film, huh? See, it's over here too. So I am just going to gently, with that little bitty denatured alcohol, run it right in there. Get that pesky film off of it because, whoa, do you see that? Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, huh? And I got that off. Got that little spot there. That is just being a bugger. Let's go around this side, huh? It is just stuck on there. Okay. So you can see all the film has been removed. Boy, there's just a lot of cleanup to do on this, though. I need to let that denatured alcohol dry, and let me tell you why. Because we're going to flatten this. Well, you know what? I'm going to do something while we're waiting for that to dry. We're going to take, and you can see how this is absolutely torn, right? And you can still see that crumpled end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this box. And how I'm going to do that is I'm literally going to take apart the box. And I'm going to reuse this piece as a hinge. Okay? So I'm gently taking apart the corner of the box. Now, wouldn't you know it, here's where the glue did stick. How crazy is that? It didn't stick on the cellophane film, but it's stuck on this cardboard on the end. 
almost coming up. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. So I'm just kind of taking that corner. I did get a little, did get a little tear or a little excess off of there, but you know what? That's going to be hidden by the hinge that I'm going to put in. Just kind of cutting that off there without losing the integrity of the box. Okay? This one is already almost gone, but I don't want to lose that. This one I can fix and just re-glue. So I just want to flatten this box. And the way I do that, though, is I have to get this end down. You know what? And if, if it doesn't go well, I didn't care for this box anyway, right? It's not like I ruined the, the 1939 box that I love. Okay. That ends free. Turn that around. This corner is really loose to begin with. It's really loosey-goosey. So it is going to come off. There we go. Like I say, you won't see that when I put this back together. <laughs> That's almost there. Like I said, I don't want to ruin it. I'm just trying to get it so that I can flatten it. I've got one more side to do. Because remember, that's, that's all, you know, this is all caved in. And I just don't like that look of it. It's all caved in. So. And plus, it's going to be easier to work on the window when I've got this part, isn't it? Gentle, gentle. It's almost there. Dokie. You can see how sad that box is. Now you can see how crumpled it is. See this? See that? That's what we're going to try to fix. So I've got the box apart. You can see that it's not really laying flat because it was all concave. You can look at this on the other side as I said here. It's all caved in. So I've got my iron, and that's why I've got an ironing board today. I'm taking a sheet of parchment. Let's start somewhere where if it's a disaster, it doesn't become too big a disaster. I've got my iron, according to Toy Taker Tim, who has a video out on repairing toy boxes. I've got my iron set on a wool setting with steam. Okay? And what I want to do is I want to flatten this box. So I'm just going to gently, a little pressure... Gentle, not too zealous. Let's see if we can get one section flattened. How about that? And then I can go ahead and then come back and show you how it came out. I mean, I never thought in my life I'd be ironing cardboard for YouTube, but you know, life hands us all kinds of blessings. Oh, yeah. You can see how that's flattening out? Woo! That's a little hot. Okay, that might be a little hot on that setting. Let's knock that back just a little bit. So I want to ruin my box. Oh no, it won't be the worst thing. This area, let's try that, because that came out. See how nice and flat that came out? Wow. Okay. So I'm going to try to do a little more here. See if I can get that crease out. Let me, can I turn it toward, let me turn it that way. Let's see if that works a little bit better. It's warm, but it's not too warm. You can see that crease is coming out. I think I need to work my iron a little faster though. You see that? Yeah, there comes the steam. Let's just give it a little pressure. How's that coming along? Nice. It's coming out. You know, it's going to come out even more when I flip this over. So let's do another section here. Yeah, that's coming out. I'm 
want to see how it looks on the other side when we do the other side. So you can see the window is now much fuller. You see how much flatter that is? It's not punched in. But I'm going to do this. Let's flip that upside down. And I want to see if we can get this crease out. That's the one that's bothering me. And it's this side over here that's got, it's giving me fits. See if I can get that somewhat, like I said, it's painstaking work, but I'm willing to do it if we can get this box looking much better than it did. You know, maybe a rainy day project for you. That's getting a little bit better, but it's going to need a lot of work. I certainly won't do it with this beach day when it's 90 degrees outside, but boy, on a rainy day or on a winter's day, it's painstaking. It's better, but it's not. I'm not satisfied yet. Got to be careful over here because I still got that old glue on there. And I don't want to heat up the glue. But I'm going to put denatured alcohol down there, and I'm so I don't really want to get that too hot. But I do want this crumpled corner done. See how that's going to look. Better? It's much better, right? I think that's a lot better. I think I can do even more though. Yeah, if you want to hit fast forward, that's fine, folks. I won't mind. But you know, I like to display my boxes underneath the trees. So when I decorate with my shiny brights and George Frankies, I also use the boxes as decoration, so that's much better. And we've done a good job of raising this up, so big thumbs up. We're ready to remove the glue around the film edge. That's the next thing I'm going to do. So somehow glue from the 60s picks up any little thing when you leave a box in an attic. Glitter, looks like there's tree branches. I'm just using this tool, like almost like a putty knife. That's what I think of. I could use a putty knife, but it's almost got like a little glitter in it, little tree branches. Well, again, we want a nice seal for that new film. So I'm removing this, let's just call it crud. How's that for a scientific term? I'm removing the crud so I can remove the glue. Lots of crud. That's a crud. Here I went through all that trouble to iron a box and I got crud. Okay. Now, I need my little rag again. Okay, so I'm going to gently apply some denatured alcohol to that glue. Let's do a little test. You know, it's kind of like painting. You always do a little test area, right? See if that'll come off without ruining the box. Yeah, that is glitter. Gosh, what did I have up there? So not only do I have to take off glitter, glue, I've got to take off glitter. Go figure. Oh, I know why. I bet the original ornaments in this box had glitter on them. You know how your boxes are changed all the time? That's what was in here. There was glitter ornaments in here. Well, isn't that just a cat's meow? You can see how that's taking it off, though. I'm going to flip this upside down so you can see that it's not ruining the box. But do not saturate that. And I'm using these little Q-tips. Look at that, though. It's full of glitter. That's what was in this box. I couldn't figure it out because I don't have a lot of glitter in the attic. So if you remember where that film was stuck, it was stuck right here. And as much as I try, I cannot get that glue up off of there. So you know what? I don't, I don't want to ruin my box. Or any more than it's been damaged. So I am going to 
kind of stop there and just live with it, you know? I'm just going to have to live with it. I can try to do this little bit right here, just to make sure that we adhere. Because I am going to add a little bit of adhesive strip here so that that film stays nice and tight. But it's not necessarily coming up the way I want it to in that spot. I've got most of the glitter up as good as I can because, again, I don't want to saturate my box. Okay, so I'm going to work my way around. Yep, I want to make sure it's not leaking through. I'm going to work my way around, and then when we come back, we're going to go ahead and put the new film on. So even though the film was in tatters, it's still good enough to measure. So it is just six and a quarter wide by nine and a quarter long. If I look at my box and I go six, boy, I sure think six inches is going to be fine. Because that's right to the there. So I'm going to go 6 by 9. Yep. I'm going to go 6 inches wide by 9 inches long, or however you want to say it. I'm, I'm going to cut the film. <laughs> so, and again, I can't, I can't cut a straight line to save my soul. So I'm going to measure. This is a 12. This is that 4 mil mylar sheet. I bought a 12 pack. So it's 12 inches and I said what? I need 6 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and put this at 6 inches. Measure twice, cut once. Right? That looks good. Good cut. So I got 6 inches. I should have two 6 inch pieces. Sure. Great job measuring, Jody. Um, nine inches. So I need nine inches here, so I'm going to measure to three with my paper cutter. You should see me wrapping Christmas presents. If it doesn't have those lines on the back of it, yeah, that doesn't work very well for me. So here I've got three inches. Let's see if that's going to fit. So here is, now if I have to trim, I can trim, but I think that's going to be just fine. Yep, that's going to be just fine. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take my craft double-sided 1 8 inch super tape. I'm going to run a line here all the way around, and then I'm also going to run, remember we had those two glue spots? They were there for a reason. So I needed my scissors because I'm going to have to trim this end. So again, I couldn't get up that green glue. Sorry, I just didn't want to damage that the integrity of the box. Could not. I got up the glue, but I it's permanently stained the box. Okay. Now you don't want to. You want to butt your ends. You don't want to overlap. So here I go. That denature alcohol really dries out your hands. I'm gonna to have to get some lotion. So I'm just going to put that right there to the end, right along that line. There we go. Cut it at an angle and they'll fit together. I like this tape. Yep, that's going to be perfect. There we go. Again, over here, I can butt my end. If I was a picture framer, I could put those at two. Whoop, that's not, you know, that's why you use the tape. Repositionable. So I'm going to make sure that it's right up there. Dang tape. Whoop, don't, don't overlap because you'll never get it off then. We've run into that before. Whoop, not only can I not draw a straight line, I can't make a tape straight line. Go. You know what I'm going to do, just because I'm wacky, is I'm going to run a bead like right here. And then I think I'm going to run 
a little bit so that again, remember our window was caved in? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that that film does not cave in. Like that. And then, I'm going to do like a, I don't know, like an X maybe? Or maybe, you know what, I think I'm just going to make a couple. Whoops, repositionable, magic words. Because I don't want that showing, right? Remember the hard part of this part? That's why you get out that dental pick again, just in case. Peeling up the tape. Remember, this is double-sided. Handiest thing, those dental picks. Like I say, you try using your fingernail, and it's just kind of, whoop, that didn't come up. Come over here. If all else fails, you can try the fingernail. Got it. Shoo. Whew. Okay, here we go. Working top to bottom, I'm going to line it up to make sure it's good. It looks good. say you only get one shot, but trust me, you want to kind of make sure you're going to be right. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. How'd we do? How'd we do? Nice. Okay, now we've got to fix the corners. So I need to put the box back together. I'm going to use my Elmer's Craft Bond glue and I'm going to re-glue. Remember at the very beginning, I know that was a lifetime ago, I remember I took apart the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to work in sides. I'm using that same spot. I'm going to come like that and make sure I get a tight fit. Yes, there's a tight fit. And over here, whoops, I guess it's not a tight fit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close pin it. That seam is pretty good. There we go. And if that glue doesn't hold, I'll just put some more on. Now, you may not have clothespins, so this tool that I'm using, which is, I call it a miniature putty knife, and the clothespins, you can get a Dollar Tree for $1.25. I was caught myself there. Okay, so that's put back together. We're going to come around to this side. Now, remember I said that we started off with that awful corner, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this and make a hinge. So that's why I did that. I made a hinge where I'm going to glue this here and then glue it here. Let me do this side first because I feel better about that. <laughs> do what you feel better about, right? I don't want that glue seeping out, so I got a little carried away there, didn't I? Whew, boy, did I ever. Well, what have we got to take that off with? Oh, Andy Danny Rag. Yeah, that had too much glue on it. Whoa, I got glue on my cardboard, too. Well, you know what? Maybe that'll hold it better. I'll fix that tear when we're done. Okay, so this is that hinge piece I was telling you about. 
So we, because there was nothing to really glue that to. So I'm going to take and run a bead of glue. Hold that a little bit better. I'm going to, I'm going to do that like that. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm going to run a bead of glue. Not as much as I got globbed on that one. Whew, what was I doing there? Run a little bead of glue. Perfect. And I'm going to put it like that. Oh, you know, duh, Jody. Why didn't you run the bead of glue on the other side while you were thinking about it? Because, you know, some days I wake up not as smart as I want to be. A little glue there. I got a little too much. Where's that handy dandy little, you know what? I can just use, use my nail file. I'm going to spread that a little bit. How about that? You know that denatured alcohol will take the glue right off my nail file, so I'm confident in that. Ah, got glue on my fingers. Well, isn't that just the way? So I'm going to glue that hinge and put that edge there and tighten that up and put a close pin on it. might have to put some extra glue on there. You know, I'm going to put a second clothespin on there with the hinge. See if that glue all holds kind of together. Ow. Let's let that dry. Okay? So let's see how we did. That glue sets up in about 10 minutes, so that's a wonderful thing, huh? Especially when you're making a video. Spring clothespins. Okay, so remember where we started with this in the crease box? Let's see how we did. So that crease came out pretty good, but look at how we popped when I ironed it. Remember how we popped that window forward? How it was all sunken in? Yeah, look at that. Remember how we, that was all sunken in, this was all creased in, this was creased in. Boy, I think that came out pretty doggone good, huh? So, remember the steps. We carefully took out the film. We carefully took apart the box. We flattened it. We put in the new window. And if I want to fix these tears on the side, oh, we made that hinge too. Um, but I think that's a much better improvement. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. More vintage ornament videos coming up. And when your boxes are repaired and you're displaying your ornaments this year, send your tree pictures and any of your ornament questions through my website, booksbyjody.com. Merry Christmas.